Hey everybody, it's Dale Jr. back again for another episode of Ask Jr. I started that just like I um, started the, <laughs> the podcast. podcast show. Yeah, I mean, it's like automatic. I don't know how else to do it. Back in the Bojangles studio. Yeah, back in the Bojangles studio for another episode. <laughs> um, we are uh, we're doing Xfinity today. Ask Jr. presented to you by Xfinity. And uh, you need to check out their Xfinity Mobile. It's the fastest mobile service with 5G and millions of Wi-Fi hotspots. We're all driving around town, and those will pop up. Hey, you want to join this uh, Xfinity hotspot? Um, nationwide coverage, and it's always going to come through in a clutch. So uh, you can make the switch today and save with Xfinity Mobile. They are a proud premier partner of NASCAR, and they do a lot of great things for us here at uh, Dirty Mo Media. So we're very thankful. Um Let's get right to it. Ask Junior. I'm sure we got a lot of great questions. We've had a pretty good show. Uh, we've been uh, it's been a balance between frustrated and um, and having a lot of fun and laughing. So you'll have to tune in to see what all we got into today. We had a couple guests. One call in and one showed up. And um, yeah, so let's get started. This first question is coming from Mary. Uh, did you get a chance to see the eclipse yesterday? Yeah, I did. Um, I went to pick Isla up from school right as it's happening. I think peak eclipse was 311 Yeah, uh, or something like that. And so uh, we got home around 314, 315 and hop out of the car, put on our glasses. Girls are up there looking and staring. I remember doing this. I mean, I was joking with my buddies uh, they were all getting fired up about the eclipse and talking about locations and times and getting the glasses and all this stuff. And I'm like, I was excited about this in like third grade when we had it happen that year and we all walk outside and look up mm-hmm. and you're like, all right, there it is. There's an eclipse. Um, but I guess this one was more unique than most. Uh, more coverage yeah. than years and past. Yeah. Amy's family, this was funny. She was pissed that I said this, but... <laughs> We're driving. We're we're driving down the road. Me and Amy in the car. She's like, "Hey, man, the eclipse." She's got family in Texas, and they're like, "Hey, man." She's like, "Hey, th- they just text me, and the eclipse is starting in Texas. Look up and see where the moon is." And I'm like, "Well, if it started in Texas, it's probably about to start here. Right? I'm not looking up in the sky without no glasses on." Mm-hmm. We didn't. She's. I, we didn't have our glasses. Mm. We're just driving down the road, and she's like, hey, look up. Is it close? <laughs> I'm like, no. Is it close? <laughs> I'm not. Who stares yeah. at the sun? <laughs> she's like, oh, you stared at the sun before. I'm like, no. I mean, I did once, and then never again, right? You know, you learn. <laughs> you, do, do, you do it once, and you don't do it anymore, right? I mean, that's what we learned years mm. ago, right, when we were little kids. She's like, look and see how close is the moon. I'm like, no, not going <laughs> to do that. <laughs> she got mad at me. Mm. Um. But anyhow, uh, we looked at it. Yeah. It's funny. All the, yeah, this happens with any kind of national media story or news story uh, or any kind of, you go on uh, Twitter X, whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. You go on there and people are posting pictures and then there's the people that are posting the pictures and then the people complaining about the pictures (laughs) and then the people mocking the people posting the picture. You know, it's just such a, right. (laughs) It's such a, Damn joke, but that was uh, I participated in the you did in the which market. part were you? Who were you? What what side were you on? Uh, were you I will sitting say, in the 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 funny like um videos of like I, there was Kip Childers with that with was Cars hilarious. Tour, yeah, right. His head, he videoed himself with his head passing in front of the sun. I took a video at like seven forty five last night, and I'm like, look at how dark it is. Yeah. Only a few hours after the eclipse. Incredible. Made me laugh. That's it. So that's what Amy. I do says. think it's cool, though. Yeah, Amy does that too. I'll, 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 I'll tell a joke, laugh, and she says, "You're one of those people, laughs at their own jokes." Oh yeah, so absolutely. That's you. Yeah. I'm my best audience, I think. <laughs> Tip, Andrew typically only laughs at his own jokes. <laughs> yeah. None of us. None of the rest of us are. <laughs> All right. Okay. Didn't. Uh, <laughs> um, this one's coming from Mark. What is? Because you know. You're you've got a lot of busy days. You're always running around. Like, what does a lazy day look like for oh, you? Oh man, that's a great question, man. I had actually had that in the Dirty Mo Media uh, in the notes here uh, for our show. Um, doing nothing for a day is uh, out of fashion. So, 
I don't know how I got on that rant, but I was, oh. So this year, I'm not doing any broadcasting, and, and I've got a little, I feel like I will, you know, when I heard that that was going to be the case, right? I'm like, okay, well, I'll have some more time to do some things that I want to do or nothing. And literally, man, as, as if I just look at my calendar and just sit here and stare at it, like little things just get added to it, like tomorrow and the next day and a week from now. And I'm, and then I'm telling Amy, I was like, I was like, man, I'm, there's just never a day where there's nothing to do. I remember not too long ago, I would wake up in the morning and go, I don't have nothing happening today. Mm -hmm. Not a thing. I'm not even going to get out of my bedroom, you know, my pajamas. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wear sweatpants and play video games all day. <coughs> and that is no longer happening. But, but, but when the day, when the, when the opportunity for that day off where you can literally do nothing comes, my wife and everyone else I know goes, well, what are we going to do? Yeah. We can't not do something. Yeah. And I'm like, why not? <laughs> like, don't we always talk about how we wish we had a, a day where we did nothing? Well, here it is. Oh, we can't not do nothing. What about the kids? What about them? <laughs> Send them upstairs. Play. Throw some air tags on them. Whatever. <laughs> let them go let outside. Them loose. Go outside. <laughs> Have fun. It's like this. Oh, I got to. It, there's like this sort of feeling of obligation, right, to be be uh, responsible to something or somebody or a job or, or you know, nobody's selfish anymore. Nobody, nobody, nobody's like, you know what, I've got a free day. I'm not going to put anything on the calendar. I'm not going to do nothing today. I'm not going to be beholding to anything. Um, we've gotten into, and I think this happens as parents too. You get into this. You feel guilty when you take time for yourself, dude. I can't even that like when, I, when we go away and take a day when we take a vacation or something. I feel like an asshole. Like I can't. I feel like I'm leaving work at home and leaving responsibilities here, Dirty Mo Media or or whatever it is, right? And not I'm not doing. I'm not accountable, right? It's a it's a it's time. It's tough. To go, whether you're going to have a day off and sit at home on your couch and do nothing, it's tough to do that without feeling like you're, you know. Right. I get that way. Like, I want to, <clears throat> if I have a day to do nothing, I'm always, like, working around the house or, like, yeah. well, working on something, you know. That's okay, I think. I think if you're, um, you know, if I'm sitting around with nothing to do and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to walk around the house and see what lights need to be replaced mm -hmm. or whatever because... Uh, or I'm going to get some laundry done or, uh, you know, I'm going to go clean the fifth, you know, the fifth, fifth wheel, which is the new thing. Um, <clears throat> that's okay. Like to do a project or do something for yourself to better, right. better the situation, something that needs to be done, but want to feel accomplished at the end of the day. Yeah, you know? that is true. So anyhow, where, uh, where the hell did we, what was the question? <laughs> it was a uh, lazy day. What do you lazy do? Lazy day. Nothing. You're out of fashion. I, my lazy, Find something to my do. lazy day. If like, this is me. If Amy leaves and takes the girls, right. my mind immediately says, I'm playing video games all day. Yep. And what end up what ends up happening is I'll have that I I mean, I could literally start as soon as I get up in the morning and just play all day. I will procrastinate and sit on the couch and flip through the channels and look at my phone and dude, I don't end up getting into the video games till like five in the evening. Right. And you're like, Well, that's what I got now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I get up from, uh, like, Amy goes, I'm, I'm rambling here. Amy goes to bed about 9.30 every night. Dude, I can't do it. I should. I should go to bed, but I sit downstairs on the couch staring into the middle distance or looking at my phone or, or, or maybe watching some stupid show on TV, man, and I just sit there, and then finally around midnight, I'm like, I guess I should go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> I get I hate, that way. I hate that. Yeah. yeah. I, I wish yeah. I could just snap my fingers and be like, all right, time Bed to time. sleep. Yep. Yeah. I can't do it. Me neither. All right, we got one more question. This one is coming from Jake, and uh, it's referencing the teardown, and uh, I guess Jordan Bianchi had never heard of J. Cole. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, they wanted to know what was it like hearing your shout out in a J. Cole song. I think it was in 2014, yeah, I want to yeah. say. You guys did a magazine cover together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that was cool, man. That was great to be able to – that magazine shoot, I think it was for ESPN. Um, that was great because he came to my, my place – and uh, we had the basketball court, and they were shooting basketball and hanging out, and he was really comfortable, and, and um, we had a conversation. He has a brother that was a race fan, and, and, and it was a, uh, they ended up coming to Daytona and got to meet his brother. But uh, <clears throat> And it was just nice because I felt like that I got to, to talk to him out of the, out of the, out of the spotlight of celebrity and and yep. and fame, right? I guess got to talk to this guy. Just two guys talking. Like we're hanging out, and and that's the bit, man. When you get a chance to be around somebody with some notoriety, and in those moments, it's so rare, right? Because typically, we, you know, if I'm gonna, uh, I got to kind of do the same same thing with Shaq when he came and we did Shaq versus he came to the house right and we did this in my in my space and 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 he 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 got to ch- calm down and and uh, relax and and so but a lot of times when we meet people it's at events it's in the middle of you know drivers intros or whatever right? I mean, they they're they're in their el- you know they're in that element of of celebrity and so you don't get to have a real conversation so that was kind of nice but uh, really cool um and uh i'll be honest man the shout out thing i was i was i opened up twitter and my phone my timeline was filled with people talking about that (laughs) and i was like oh i need to go listen Right, and so you go and listen to the little shout out, and it's just him. He's just, you know, he's just rambling, not not really saying nothing um, crazy. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what he'd said, you know. <laughs> and so I went and listened to it, and I was like, oh, all right, that's what everybody was making a big deal out of. And um, who was he saying I was in the elevator with? Uh, it was. I think I remember he said he you'd met you, and then the next person he said was Jonah Hill. Yeah, yeah, from yeah. like Superbad yeah, and Wolf said, Wall Street. Yeah, he said he was in the elevator. Right, we all were having a conversation. Yeah, it was Jonah Hill. Yeah, Jonah Hill yeah. came to Pocono one year. Oh yeah, yeah, when he was doing that movie with T- Channing Tatum, Shan- Twenty One Jump Street. Yeah, Twenty One Jump. Street. Channing Tatum. Yeah, I, why do I remember that? <laughs> shit, right? What the? F- uh, why is that piece of information still in there? <laughs> um it's the weird things you remember. Yeah. Um I think the same day that I met those two guys for that movie they were filming at Pocono, um uh Vanilla Ice, um, I got to meet him. He was at the same drivers meeting That's at cool. Pocono. That's pretty maybe neat. was he like performing? Maybe he might have been in he might have had a small piece in that movie. Or maybe that was a different, different Pokemon. Ice tea or no ice maybe cube? Vanilla, what vanilla are you ice. No, no, no. Dude. In that movie, in Twenty One Jump Street, it was uh, ice cube. Ice then, cube. Right? Yeah. Well, ice vanilla cube was ice in that came movie. to Pocono one year. It might have been the same race. There's it might so not ices. have been the same race. But I know vanilla ice was there, and but he was also, I think he was there because he was in a role for a movie that was being promoted around that event, and it might have been a different race, a different Pocono event, mm. but. Vanilla Ice is cool, man. We swap numbers. Mm. That's yeah. cool. That's got to be a cool yeah. one in your phone. Yeah. His whole thing about you know his his home renovations and his show mm-hmm. and how he's like he's he's doing he's doing amazing. He's got a car collection. And he's got this car in there that has some connections to that a little bit. Mm-hmm. It was Pocono Pocono 2012. He yeah. was pacing the field. There pace car go. driver. There Vanilla go. Ice. Yeah. Pretty cool. Nice. Well, that's All a good right. place to end it. <clears throat> that is. All right, so that was Ask Junior some good questions today. Um, thank you, Xfinity, for everything you do. Xfinity Mobile, fastest 5G coverage, Wi-Fi spots everywhere. Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi spots raining down from the heavens, <laughs> giving us this glorious cl- coverage. It's amazing. It is. 
<laughs> Xfinity, proud premier partner of NASCAR. We're thankful.